process. We're going to get our things in order. If you remember from the sorting and purging process, all of our tops are together, our skirts, our dresses, etc. We're going to start with our tops. With our tops, the most common and easiest way to organize your tops is by sleeve length. I've already began the process somewhat. So we have our sleeveless first short sleeves, medium, sleeveless, and we're going to continue this process until we're through all of our tops. The key to this entire process is that you, number one, can find what you need when you need it, and number two, that you can maintain it. So you don't want to go too deep into the process, and then you can't find anything. Now, your closet may be packed, and as you can see, this closet doesn't have a whole lot of clothes. So if you have a whole lot of clothes in your closet, this may not be to the level of degree that you need. You may have more solid colors than prints. You may like more t-shirts than shirts. The idea behind this exercise is that you organize it in a way that's most comfortable for you and that you will be able to maintain it. Now, when I go to the next portion of this, this video, I'm going to show you the difference it can make if you change out your hangers. I'm going to put these back for effect. And as you can see, all of my tops are kind of jammed together. So what we're going to do is we're going to change hangers and see if that makes a difference. So let's pause for a moment and I'll be back shortly. As you can see, we changed out all the hangers. They definitely save you a lot of space in your closet. Now, changing hangers are optional. They are not that expensive and you can purchase them online, but it's not imperative. However, if you have a lot of clothes in your closet, it would be to your advantage to get thinner hangers. We've done our tops by sleeve length, sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeves. One thing to consider, depending again upon the volume of clothes in your particular closet, you may want to do by color, you may do by style. For example, your dressy shirts versus your t-shirts versus your casual shirts. It's up to you. I've moved the sweaters, so now the sweaters are here instead of the skirts. You will find as an organizer of your own closet, you will find different ways that's going to be most advantageous to you based on your desire, your needs, your closets. Your dresses, again, I've stuck with sleeve length, but another thing to consider is seasons. So you may want to separate your summer clothes from your fall clothes. You may want to separate the style, your dressy clothes versus your office clothes versus your casual clothes. The level of detail depends upon your closet. You want to make your closet conducive to you being able to find what you need when you need it and find it pretty rapidly. So what do you think? Well, congratulations, you've made it through the entire organizing process. So now let's look at some key teaching moments. You may have noticed that organizing is not an exact science. A lot is dependent upon the volume of clothes in your particular closet, the specific needs and desires that you have for your closet, and our goal to identify and address and ultimately resolve our biggest opportunities and pain points of our closet. What is the most frustrating part of dealing with our closet on a daily basis? And lastly, 
Only organize as much as can be maintained. If you find that your organizing system is too complex, it'll become more frustrating, and we definitely don't want that. Organizing is an ongoing process. There's no one size fits all. And it's definitely not something you do one time and never have to do it again. Our class assignment is to upload a photo or 30 second video of your closet after organizing. Please give us a brief description of your thought process that you used as you put your clothes in order. All questions are always welcome and feedback as well. And at any point in time you'd like a virtual session with me, please don't hesitate to let me know. Well, we're in the home stretch. See you next time.